Are Chinese EVs actually safe? Are they cars that you should buy? Is there a chance if you're in a crash, you're more likely to die in a Chinese electric car? Well, the answer to that question is actually fairly conclusive. And it's probably not what you would be thinking. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Let's get straight to the point here. The Renault Zoe, it's one of the highest sold electric cars in the world over the past 10 years, has a one Yes, one star safety rating. Two different BMW electric cars within the past 12 months got a four star safety rating. Within the past week, a series of different electric cars from BYD and Xpeng have been tested in Euro under their NCAP or NCAP. It tested Tesla's Model Y as the safest car in history. And then the Tesla Model Y was beaten recently by the Tesla Model S. That's the new version of the Model S, the or the newer version of the Model S. However, however, in the last week, BYD's Seal and BYD's Dolphin EVs and the Xpeng P7 have been tested, gone through all the standardized tests that European automakers have to go through in Europe. And well, we've been able to discover if they're actually safe or not. I recently made a video on Toyotas. Um, Toyota has regularly scored lower in safety tests in newer models than they have in older models. And that's not because of the technology, that's simply because the vehicles were built at a more budget standard. For example, the Toyota Sienna, which was involved in a crash recently where every single passenger died, seven out of seven passengers died. It was considered a top safety pick by some ridiculous American publication, which is obviously just printing what it's paid to print. And people believe this stuff. The truth was the newer model of the Toyota Center was actually less safe than the previous model. So there's this perception out there that Western brands are safe. Well, as I've just mentioned, that's actually not necessarily true. Electric car buyers can expect a pretty good deal more choice next year. Well, and this year already now, and that's really due to Chinese electric cars. But a lot of people think, well, they're risky. Should I take a gamble on a Chinese EV? Well, for one, I mean, Tesla make probably their best EVs in China. Most people think that the EVs that Tesla make in China are the best quality. The Xpeng P7, Ado 3, BYD Dolphin, and BYD Seal have all just been tested, and they've all scored five stars on safety tests. So more than some premium European electric cars. Now, there is a caveat here, and I'm, I'm gonna just get to the caveat at the end, because I think it's important to, to remember that even if you get five stars, not every car is equal. I mean, five stars doesn't mean it's the same as another five star car. There's a reason that there's four different categories in the safety score testing. And Chinese EVs generally do score fairly low in one of these categories, especially in comparison to Tesla. The BYD Seal got a five-star safety rating, and that really does prove that the Addo 3's safety score wasn't a fluke. The Seal performed flawlessly across the board, getting an impressive 89% score for adult occupant protection. It got scores of 87% and 76% for child occupant protection and safety assistance technology. So you can see here, the lowest score it got was 76%. That was for safety assistance technology. It's not alone here. These sort of lowish 70, 70 something percent scores, they are very common. In fact, even the 60s, a lot of European brands, I mean, we're hearing this stuff. Oh, look, BMW's got autonomous cars, Mercedes, autonomous cars are amazing. They're level four, they're gonna be able to drive by themselves. Well. That's, that's an interesting thing that they would be saying, they're making those comments, right? Making these claims when, unfortunately, your NCAP scores are saying that actually those claims are not really true. Their safety ability, according to their safety assistance technology, is actually a little bit below par in many instances. Anyway, getting back to the BYD, Euro NCAP testers praised the responsiveness of the BYD SEALs Autonomous Emergency Braking System, or AEB, and it's effective intervention when it detected both pedestrians and cyclists. But like I said, there was still a couple of little drawbacks. And this is the case across all BYD models that I've been tested so far. Now, don't get me wrong, they are actually, they've scored very well, but there's still something that they can do better. The BYD Dolphin got five stars as well. 
at the bottom of the BOD model hierarchy globally, not in China because there's cheaper models in China, but the cheapest BOD you can buy outside of China is a Dolphin. And it just got tested on Euro NCAP, getting 89% and 87% for adult and child occupant protection, which are both very good scores. It beat the largest seal for vulnerable road user protection at 85%. Safety assist systems was 79%. So it was a little bit better for its safety assist versus the BYD seal. Now, Xpunk P7 also got a five-star safety rating and it performed well, but obviously that's not a car that most of us can buy. So I won't go into details on that. Now, it is true that BYD's cars got five stars. It is true that many Chinese cars and Neo EVs have scored five stars. However, BYD's safety assistance scores are quite a bit lower than, say, Tesla's, but well, so are everyone else's. So to be fair, that's no real blight on BYD. But still, that's one area that they have a little ways to go to catch up on to Tesla. So when we are comparing them to a Tesla vehicle, it is true that BYD's are almost always cheaper and would appear to be the better buy. But when it comes to safety assistance scores, they definitely do lag behind Tesla's ability in that area. But like I said, so does everyone else. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.